Today, I wanna to talk to you about getting better at tango, specifically by using Practica. Now, if you're anything like I was in the very beginning, you were like, Malanga, got it, great, dressing up. And then Practica is athleisure Malanga? But it's actually not, and there's a lot of ways that you can use Practica and really differentiate between Practica and Milonga to improve your dance. And I definitely noticed that when I started really using Practica to practice, uh, that my dance improved. And so I just wanted to share that with you as I think about things that I wish I had known earlier in my dancing. First, I really make sure to plan ahead for Practica. And I do this in a couple different ways. One, I am reviewing my notes, I'm reviewing videos that I've taken, or videos online, so my mind is really kind of primed and ready working on things that I'm personally working on, or just looking at aesthetics that I want to emulate. The second thing that I do to prepare is that I make appointments with people. I try and set aside a time, like an hour or so, to work on particular things with particular people. If you're new to this, a great place to do this is right after class. So if you take a class, connect with someone afterward and say, I'd love to continue working on that. Are you going to Practica on Thursday? The other thing that I do to kind of plan ahead is to set a one word goal or set an intention for that time. So maybe I'm working on balance. Maybe I'm working on walking more elegant. Maybe I'm working on my connection. I have like a one word goal that kind of helps to keep me focused and intentional in my movements and in my practice time. I wanna maximize my practica time by thinking about how I can work independently as well. Especially in the beginning, I was studying the music, looking it up, trying to figure out what was connecting uh, the songs in the tanda or just kind of growing my musical knowledge. I would practice maybe identifying the parts of the song, the musical instruments, and really thinking about how they make a cohesive piece of music. The other thing that I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna be watching other dancers and really trying to figure out what they're doing and what I like about their movement or their aesthetic. I'm also not afraid to be that awkward person in the corner, like doing movements by myself, so practicing uh, my stability drills, practicing like tapping onto the B or different dancing to different musical instruments. It's a great time to take advantage of the sound and the music that's playing and your own dancing, especially if there's mirrors. Really use the mirrors. You're gonna be an amazing dancer someday. Now, of course, at Practica, you're gonna be working with other people. So there's a bunch of different things that you can consider here. And this did not come intuitively to me. So there's a couple key questions and phrases that I use that have helped me over time. So after that first like initial song, I'm gonna ask, what are you working on? What, what are you working on? And this really opens the door. It creates an invitation for them to share and really define this space as a practice space. So a lot of times they might not answer with anything in particular right away, but if you keep that routine up, they're gonna be ready the next time they dance with you to, to answer that question or maybe dive into something that they've been exploring, really honoring that practice space so that you can both get better. I always have things in mind that I wanna work on that have to do with my body and that I have complete control over. Things that I can work on no matter what my leader is going to be working on or giving me. Another great simple question to start off with is, can we do that again? Something as simple as, can we try that again? Can we do that again? Allows you to kind of dive in and explore some elements there. One question that I would avoid would be, how does that feel? Well, maybe it's just me, but I am always thinking about myself in practica. So if somebody asks me after we finish a song, oh, how did that feel? Or did that feel X, Y, Z? I don't have a lot of memory about that. One thing that I do find helpful though is asking a question beforehand and being really specific, really honing in on one thing, a step or sequence 
or maybe it's a particular body part. So saying something like, when we're dancing the next song, can you pay attention to my right hand? Does it feel comfortable? Uh, did that lead feel clear? I'm really working on this. Can you give me some feedback around that? Now if that felt clear, connected, smooth, comfortable. Another contract that I found really helpful in Practica is setting up an A and a B. So maybe I'm working on a particular way of like holding or stepping. I'm gonna try version A and version B. Maybe I have my ribs here, maybe I have my ribs here. Maybe I step like this and I'm gonna ask for a particular feedback. So I'll dance a few phrases with A, dance a few phrases with B. Kind of like the eye doctor where they're like A or B. The last thing that I want to consider or I've learned to consider over time is really thinking about that like non-violent communication that really like self-centered communication so expressing things in a way that says like oh this really feels good for me if you really have to find for yourself what you want and what you're feeling in your own body so when you can express something like this is what i'm feeling when this happens or uh this feels good for me that gives your partner some good information in all realms of life honestly but especially when working with a partner especially when working with a partner abundantly helpful and really empowering now of course always take partner work and feedback with a grain of salt it takes time to develop trust and start off slow but these are some things that have really helped me using practica either working independently preparing or working with a partner and they've made a difference in my dance allowing me to make progress faster hopefully these tips will be helpful for you especially as practicas open back up be curious ask questions be open-minded always good mindsets to have when getting better practicing and pushing yourself I hope that your future is filled with very useful practicas and divine tandas. Take care.